Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I got a big, 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 big box in the mail today. I got the hard drives the other day. I'm a little behind on getting the video live, but this one will be following right behind. Some of you may guess by the size of it what this could be. If you saw my previous video, you might be able to guess what this is based on its size. Some of you, if you have ever received such an item, will know exactly by the packaging what it is because they're all packed the same. Any ones I've ever seen, they're all packed the same way. This is an incredible and exciting thing for DIY Tube video community. This is a test oh, uh, for testing. And, oh boy, how'd they get that in there? In development. Oh, they gave me, oh, what's this? Two power cables, good, good, good to have. Very, very good. If I can get this beast out of here, I injured my back a couple days ago. That is the exact one that was pictured in uh, in the uh, ad. Let me get this out. They uh, sealed that up inside. Oh. All right, I'm going to set the box down. I'm going to close the box. I'm going to set this on top of the box. This is huge and heavy. It doesn't want to go back together. Now, hold on a second. No, don't do that to me. This is going to be fun. Obey me. This is a beast! All right, what we have here is a, I think it's a 4U. Uh, hard drive enclosure. We have two. Uh, I want to get my words right because I've been researching so many things. These are uh, Dell controllers, and this connects to your Perk 5 or Perk 6 card, the uh, RAID controller card, inside the Dell. And that's what I'm waiting for right now. I'm waiting for my. I bought a Perk 6 E external card for my Dell server, and I got a uh, cable on the way, so I can't wait for them to arrive. Anyway, what we have here is we have two control units. I don't know if that's a proper term for it or not. We have an input and an output here, and an input and an output here, so we can have redundancy. If one unit fails on you, you've got the second one. To carry on. Um, this is a Dell Power Vault. There's a lot of variations in the Dell Power Vault series. Now, this is one of the Dell Power Vault series of, of equipment. Dual power supplies, also for redundancy. So, obviously, double of everything is always great to have. Now, over here, unfortunately, they don't give you the uh, caddies with the server these days when you buy them online. So uh, I want to check the caddies that I currently have before I went ahead and bought any. I, I have recently received, I thought it was 13, but I think I had, wait, yeah, I, I thought it was 12. I received 13 servers the other day, uh, a couple weeks ago, and I have two other servers that are actually going to be the actual live servers for DIY Tube. The 13 servers are going to be used for development and other other processes and one of the 2950s actually I'll probably use for a backup server. I'll have it completely set up for emergency purposes in case something happens to one of the two live servers each with a bunch of virtual machines built in. I will have a series of 
of other machines on standby behind that, and then eventually we're going to keep on growing and expanding. But those of you who have been using DIY Tube will see that um, we currently have two parallel video processors, and uh, when we go live in our own data center, we're going to have five or six to start out with, and then the sky's the limit from there. So that's just really exciting and awesome. Anyway, um, this is just one example of what we'll be using for our data center. I've got this for here. I'm going to be um, running this on a development server in-house with everything as it will be in the live data center. But anyway, I want to check and see if anything, if the caddies I have will fit this. And then if they do, great. If they don't, then I'll have to order some. One of the reasons I chose the Dell PowerVault series is one, I'm using Dell servers. Um, Dell servers happen to be really cheap and very reliable. I love the fact that they uh, last for years and years and years. So the other thing about this, the Dell PowerVault series, is that I can connect up to, let me th see if I get my numbers right, um, I can connect up to 12 enclosures per server based on how many cards you got in your computer. And that is really awesome. A 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, I can connect three enclosures per uh, output on the Perk 6 card. And there's two per card, which gives me six enclosures per card and I can run up to two cards per server. That's a lot of data. That's a lot of capacity. I can run this with various software. I'm going to experiment. That's what this is all about, experimentation. I'm going to try the built-in Dell RAID controllers, but I'm also probably going to try FreeNAS and see what I prefer, which way I prefer to go. I'm leaning more towards Dell original systems for now, but as we grow and as our data center grows, uh, we'll be going with something different along the lines, but that's, that's in the future. We have a lot of expansion room with 12 of these per server, and then of course you can link up multiple servers to your storage units for redundancy, so if one server falls out, you've got another one kicks in, and I mean it's just it's just amazing what all you can do. I've read the handbooks and the owner owners manuals through and through. I spent a um, considerable amount of time researching what I was going to get to try out. So uh, pretty exciting. There is a Dell Power Vault that will be housing a whole mass of 15 by the way. Uh, 14, 0 to 14. 15 hard drives, numbered 0 to 14, for our development system here at the homestead. Very, very soon we will have our own data center. That is really exciting. I'm looking at this and just thinking. That's why I got slow talking. I love electronics. Well, guys, more stuff on the way. This is the beginning. I will be messing around later. I don't know if I'll do it on video or not, but I'm going to experiment and see what uh, caddies will fit in here. If I have anything for this, if not, I will have to order them. But this does take a combination of SAS and SATA hard drives. Any combination, according to what I've read, which is really cool. Um, very, very unique. But I'm going to go with SAS for now for their reliability and ruggedness. And uh, we don't want massively large hard drives for our data center. Because if, if you have one massive hard drive and you've got a thousand people trying to stream their videos from that, that's just not going to work. It's, going to, it's just not going to work at all. So the idea was we're going to have a massive amount of very small hard drives so that people are hitting all the different hard drives streaming their videos from them distributing the the data across a whole mess of hard drives and uh, improving overall system performance 
So there you go, guys. Cool expansions for DIY to video community. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and watch for more exciting videos on the way to come as I build this system. This is Troy from the Do It Yourself World Electronics. Talk to you later. Oh, hitting that bell icon and get notifications. Sometimes it doesn't work. Talk to you later.